to show you maps that Epic is totally ignoring, but that need more recognition. And we're going to go into why all of this is happening. Okay, before we get into some overlooked maps, I wanted to show you this teaser from Yappy. Like every so often, I see things that pop up on Twitter that just absolutely astound me. And this is a teaser for a map that he's going to be releasing in August that just looks absolutely incredible. Like, uh, adventure maps and puzzle maps have kind of, I don't know, I wouldn't say they're dead. They've just kind of been ignored, I feel like, the past, I don't know, year or so. And just look at this. I mean, there's so many cool things with prop movers, prop manipulators, awesome design. I, I cannot wait to play this. And this kind of stuff just excites me about the future of Fortnite Creative, even without talking about 2.0. This is another one by Taki. And I've played some of Taki's maps in the past, and he's an insane creator. And this is just a really cool take on a snowboard map. And then here's some like images from that same map. I mean, look at this chairlift. That looks so amazing. Here's another view of that chairlift. I mean, gosh, I cannot wait to see this map in person. Future of Fortnite Creative is so exciting when there's creators like this out there. Hey, this first map isn't necessarily like the best map ever. It's just different. See, watch this. I'm going to start and check this out. I can move my spaceship around the map and avoid the other spaceships coming in. Now, I showed off a map before that was similar to this with like driving. Oh, look, I got hit. Oh, no, I lost a life. Ah, I just got hit again and again. I'm down to one. Man, I'm actually not very good at this. It's actually got a pretty good response time, though, moving back and forth. But I love the background. You can see like the Derber you're flying around back there or Kevin or like there's a satellite up in the top. Whoa, 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 whoa. I just, oh, my gosh. I don't I die so fast. Let's replay again. Okay, here we go. The difference between this one and the driving one that I showed off before is on this one, you can shoot. And look, it resets you back to the middle. But when you shoot, it knocks the alien crafts back. It's just a cool, unique experience that we haven't really seen in creative before. This map is a gun game. It's made by Bitempa. Now, there's a couple of things about this map. First, I just want to say this map is just absolutely stunning. It's a recreation of a Call of Duty map. So that right there means this map is probably going to get overlooked by Epic. But number two, it's made by a semi-unknown map creator that's in Asia. Now, if you guys didn't know, the like Japanese Asian creators, like they are absolutely insane. Like this map, the lighting and the architecture and everything, like this is absolutely stunning. And there's a few of those creators over there like Neverty or Taki that will get the features occasionally. But I feel like a lot of those creators over there get overlooked. It brings up another issue that we see a lot in creative is that we have a core group of creators that get featured all of the time. A lot of those folks are my friends, so I'm happy for them. But I also feel like there's a lot of creators out there that just get plain overlooked because they're not one of those core creators that have been there since like day one, right? And Discovery was supposed to kind of help resolve that, but it hasn't really done that at this point. Whoa, guys, this is a tiny camper. Not sure who's gonna fit in that. Regardless of any of that, this map is absolutely awesome. Welcome to the Overgrown City by Five Walnut. This is strictly an artistic build map, but it brings up an issue that I've had with Epic for a long time. Whoa, guys, you just get to walk out here out in the air. This is pretty cool. But have you seen this in Discovery? And if you have, there's probably almost no plays on it. One, because there's not much you can do. It's just an artistic build. But two, there's no real way to highlight maps like this. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that people need to see, even if it's just briefly for a little bit. Like, this is that kind of stuff that will attract more people to Fortnite if there's a better way to feature it. The only traction these things get is on like TikTok or YouTube. And it's unfortunate that in the very own game that it's created in, it hardly gets noticed at all. This is an artistic build by Let Kyle Do Things. And this actually could be in my build challenge for this season. Because look at these awesome pod racers. I mean, how cool is this with all the different particle effects? Love the like rockets back here blasting backwards. But this is the kind of stuff you'll never see in Discovery. You'll never see it on anywhere probably other than Twitter. It's unfortunate. I don't really know what the solution is. I feel like we kind of need like a real true news feed in creative mode where you can follow creators and they can post images they can post their map kind of like a fortnite social media yo jonesy's driving this one. Oh my gosh <laughs> look at this driver it's a gas pump and since we're on the topic of art check this sculpture out by coelho i have actually never watched breaking bad but this is absolutely astounding i mean i, I don't know how you get this done with just primitive shapes or whatever he's using here i mean it's it's just uh, blows my mind and then here's a build by Lundell. It's just a really cool building that you're never going to see in creative mode. Only people that saw this are the ones that saw it on Twitter. I don't know the solution. Right, this is a connect four map where you shoot the tile and once you connect four, the player wins. Now, we've seen a connect four map before and this is slightly different because it doesn't like drop down. But I think more of the point of why I wanted to show this off because a map like this is just going to get buried because of the current like meta in creative mode. People want to do the really cool action games, which I'm fine with. I don't want to like, dictate what people 
people play. Wait, 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 before I go on, what the heck is this record thing up in the corner of my screen? Been up there the last few maps. I'm not sure how to get rid of that. <laughs> Super annoying. If anyone knows how to get rid of that, please comment. Yeah, like I said, this is not a problem that people love certain game modes. Problem comes when people, oh dude, look at that. When you win, it like shows where you won. That is amazing. And what's cool about this too, is that you can go and look at the mechanics. The logic on this thing must be insane. But well done on this. This is a really cool map. Once again, guys, this is probably gonna get overshadowed just because of the current meta. And there has gotta be a way to still highlight maps like this without overshadowing what people want to play. Now, the other day I asked on Twitter for people to show me the maps that they've made that haven't gotten the recognition they deserve. I'm just gonna point out a few of these, but I encourage you guys to go and look through all this tweet. There's hundreds of responses and you should go and try out every single one of these maps. I'll leave a link directly to this tweet in the description below. This is a Bed Wars map made by Seymour. And look at this, man. Look at this awesome base you're in. You come here and collect your resources. You can buy upgrades. So like I'm gonna upgrade my base here. Oh, sweet. I got some new guns. You can build a structure around your bed, help protect it. Then when you're ready to get to the middle, you can build out to the middle. You can see other people's bases on the four corners. But really guys, look at how beautiful this map is. It's so well done. Guys, look, there's even guards and tanks in here. This is awesome. Now, to be fair, this map was definitely featured. But Seymour said it only stayed in Discover for like three days and he spent five months making this thing. So this map gets hardly any plays while some other map that is just, uh, I don't know, two ramps sitting like this gets to stay in Discover for years, really. I feel like this is a big problem in creative where maps that are really good are overshadowed by these other maps that have been in Discovery forever. Not because they're necessarily better maps, just because that's what people are used to playing and haven't been exposed long enough to maps like this. So I feel like maps have to have more of a chance to be on Discovery at the top of Discovery for longer periods of time, like a week at least. And then you can really assess what maps are popular and what are really getting plays, as opposed to just saying, oh, this map didn't get enough plays in the hour it had on Discovery. This is the Summer Team Surf Race. Cool map where you get like different consumables every few seconds. You even get like a grappler, which is awesome. <laughs> right now, well, surfboards are a bit glitchy. Like they blow up if you go underwater, which is not good. The reason I wanted to show off this map because this was made for a summer callout and the callouts are becoming a really big issue. Like they do these big callouts for creators. Oh no! Did I just fall through the map? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This, the surfboards are so glitched. Uh, look, I'm just dead here. I'm just stuck under water and now I don't respawn on the surfboard. But the point is these callouts are sent out and then if you get accepted, they're only featured up for like a little bit and sometimes even the featured category gets buried down below other ones. Some map creators are told that their maps made it into the callout, but then they never actually show up. These callouts are just kind of a mess sometimes. Those callouts and how they're displayed and shown need to be done way better. And then you have maps like this where there's actual copyright issues. Gosh, this map, guys, is so good. Whoa, something just blew up. But Epic's never gonna pay attention to a map like this. Look, we can go to the underworld. Oh, guys, this is awesome. So lots of amazing maps that I showed today and thousands of others that need to get more recognition. And I honestly don't know how Epic's gonna figure this all out.